Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the moment when Taylor Swift screamed at Lenny Kravitz at the iHeart Awards, which became viral on the internet. I'll explain everything about this situation. First, let's talk a bit about the context. The iHeart Awards is a music award show that takes place every year in the United States. In the 2019 edition, Taylor Swift was one of the big winners of the night, taking home several important awards. During the ceremony, Taylor Swift was sitting in the front row, near other celebrities such as Lenny Kravitz. At one point, she noticed that Kravitz was filming with his cell phone while she was on stage receiving an award. That's when everything started. Taylor Swift was clearly bothered by Kravitz's behavior and immediately turned to him and yelled, Stop filming, Lenny! That's disrespectful! Kravitz's reaction was one of surprise, but he immediately stopped filming and tried to calm the situation. What happened after that was that the video of the moment when Taylor Swift screamed at Lenny Kravitz became viral on the internet. Millions of people watched the video and shared it on social media, generating many comments and opinions about what happened. Some people thought that Taylor Swift was rude and overreacted, while others defended that she had every right to be upset with Kravitz's behavior. The debate about the subject was intense and lasted for several days. But what can we learn from this situation? First, that celebrities are people like anyone else and can be upset by disrespectful behaviors. Second, that the internet has enormous power to amplify situations and make them viral in a matter of minutes. In conclusion, we can say that the moment when Taylor Swift screamed at Lenny Kravitz at the iHeart Awards was an example of how social media and the culture of sharing can influence public opinion. Regardless of what we think about the subject, the important thing is to reflect on how we're using the internet and how we're dealing with our emotions in conflict situations. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to leave your comment about the subject. See you next time.